For those of you wondering, the TLDR of Developing Beyond is that Epic Games and Welcome joined forces to get developers to create new games exploring the theme of transformations. These games had to take actual inspiration from scientific ideas and of course make use of Unreal Engine 4. Now all of the developers, and we did end up speaking with them all, and we should have interviews with at least some of them coming up in the future, and they all worked with actual scientists with of course different areas of expertise to help improve their games. This is just a small highlight of what we saw that day, and you can expect more content on Developing Beyond and everything that was discussed in future videos. exactly what they've been doing and how they've been doing it and we'll start with Seed so we're going to get just a very kind of uh, brief summary of the game and how it works from the Seed team. At Seed we're, um, we're building a game where the player is able to um, grow, breed, um, hybridise and um, discover procedural plant life. Um, it's based on a lot of the concepts that Helen brought to us um, around garage biotech and amateur scientists in the role of um, plant breeding and so can we have uh, Tara Marcus next? Hello, uh, my name is Elizabeth Lorenz from Antonio. Uh, Terra Mars is a strategy survival game about the first human mission to Mars. So the idea is that you, as a player, are managing this crew of six astronauts on Mars and um, they have to face all the challenges that the human species will, will face um, on different planets. So, you try to, to find a way to adapt the planet to human life. Uh, at the same time, though, they get uh, affected by the planet itself. So they face these, uh, these challenges, and these challenges will change them somehow, both on a physical and mental level. Yeah. So this is Winterhorn. Hello, uh, my name is Rob, and I'm working with Piers Mitchell. And we're making a game called Winterhorn, which is a, uh, a game about the Black Death. It's a game about the human condition. A game about travelling back in time into other people's bodies to understand what life was like back then. And it's also a supernatural exploration of English folk horror. And that's all the things we're throwing into the mix of Winter Hall. <laughs> and I think, I mean, what you've got in those very brief descriptions is a key uh, point to make with this whole project. That we're talking about it as a science project, but what's critical here is that it's uh, actually a research project. So that, in fact, broadens it out. So what we think of conventionally as being science. So a researcher travels around a subject, travels around an idea, and the kind of any classicists in the room, you'll know that the kind of Latin origins of this literally means to, to wander around, that you don't necessarily have a point of destination, but you're wandering around thoughts and possibilities. And so critically, when we talk of science, we aren't talking about something which is closed and has been often said is just to do with men in white coats in labs. It's something much bigger, much bolder, that speaks to our desire as humans to explore our own minds and the possibilities of what we do when we use our minds. And it feels to me as though the concepts of this project, developing borders, is something, and developing beyond, allows us to have new ideas that come across those borders, both of academia and this extraordinary world that you all inhabit. So it seems to me that it's something which perpetuates the possibilities of civilization. So thank you, everybody.